In a chemistry exam, the amount of substance exam questions can pose a real challenge, and the context they use can make it seem particularly tough. But I promise you, practice makes perfect. This is the second video in a series of tutorials where I'm going to pose you a question, which is on screen now, give you a chance to solve it, and then come back later for a full walkthrough explanation of my answer. For more information, check out the video description. I think the major challenge for this question was interpreting the scenario you were presented with, and a very similar question actually came up on a recent OCR chemistry examination. A technician has prepared two identical solutions of hydrochloric acid, and then to one of these two solutions they add some sulfuric acid. And the whole goal of this is to figure out what the concentration of the additional sulfuric acid is in the second solution. We have to use the information about sodium hydroxide to determine this. Both samples, A and C, are titrated against the 0.5 mol per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide solution. Sample A, which was just hydrochloric acid, required 40 centimeters cubed of the sodium hydroxide, whereas sample C required 55.60 centimeters cubed of the sodium hydroxide solution. That's 15.60 centimeters cubed extra, and that 15.6 centimeter cubed extra is just because of the sulfuric acid that was added to the second solution. As a result, the volume we're actually going to use for the sodium hydroxide in the calculation to determine the concentration of the sulfuric acid is just going to be this 15.60 centimeters cubed. So we're almost just honing in on the reaction between the sulfuric acid and the sodium hydroxide only by using the difference between the two volumes of sodium hydroxide required by the two different samples of solution. The calculation then instantly becomes more recognizable. I've got the full reaction equation, which shows a 1 to 2 ratio between the sulfuric acid and the sodium hydroxide. And to calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide required, I do concentration times volume over 1,000. So that's 0.5 times 15.6 over 1,000 to give me a moles of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize just the sulfuric acid equal to 7.80 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mol. According to the ratio, by dividing this value by 2, I can then determine the number of moles of sulfuric acid, which is equal to 3.90 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mol. Final step here seems straightforward, but there is a chance here to make a mistake. You are asked to determine the concentration of the sulfuric acid solution added to sample B. So what I need to do here is moles over volume to find concentration as normal, but just make sure you use the volume of the original sulfuric acid solution that was added to sample B to create sample C. Don't use that total volume of sample C. My final answer here to three significant figures is 0 0.390 moles per decimeter cubed. Always check in the exam if they want your answer to a particular precision. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a like before you go and consider subscribing to stay updated. If you did happen to miss the first video in this series, then there's a link on screen now alongside other links to content on my channel. Until next time though, happy revising.